Hello guys! A lot of people know and some have already visited the state Bahrain and its most famous city Manama. However, Manama hasn't always been the capital of Bahrain. A hundred years ago, the capital city was Muharraq, which is located on the island of the same name. Muharraq is the second largest island of the country. It lost the status of the capital when the world pearl market slumped. Namely thanks to the pearl trade. Not only Bahrain has existed and developed for centuries, but also the entire coastal Arab world. Fortunately, just a few years later, Bahrain became the first state in the Middle East to find oil in sufficient volumes for sale. Thanks to this, electricity and modernization came to Bahrain. The first cinema and airport were built. The level of education has improved and citizens have become the most enlightened residents of Arabia. And this is how Muharraq looks from the nearest skyscraper of Manama. The distance between these islands is not so big, from several dozens to hundreds of meters. As it was centuries ago, the seafood industry is developing and being supported. Especially many crabs are found in coastal waters. In addition to fishing, Muharraq has its own farms. There are not many of them, but still they exist, despite the hot climate. Since the 2000s, Muharraq has been actively expanding its coastline, going deeper into the Persian Gulf. The shallow depth of the surrounding waters made it possible to fill new territories with sand. So a number of islands and archipelagos appeared. These include Amwaj, Dilmunia, Diyar al Muharraq, East Hid City, and several others are being developed. Now Bahrain has its own little Venice. Any foreigner can purchase real estate on artificial islands. The highlight of Muharraq Island is the flowering of such fruit trees as papaya, pomegranate, lime and of course date. Since the coastline here is not very large, all good beaches are either paid or are located in some kind of residential or hotel territories. There are also free beaches, but they look something like this. Therefore, many people prefer to pay and enjoy their vacation on the beach with a bar restaurant. The main attraction of Muharraq is the Arad Fort. It is about 500 years old. In the past, it was used to protect the territory of the island. It is well preserved and was partially restored at the end of the 20th century. You should visit it and feel the atmosphere of the past. Two of the four towers are available now and you can see the view from them. Apart from the fort, there is one more attraction in Muharraq. This is Perling, an unusual architectural monument, a testimony of an island economy based on the pearl hunting and export. There is a small free museum inside. The Perling is a UNESCO heritage site. A huge new airport has been recently built in Bahrain. The construction cost 1 billion of US dollars. Bahrain Airport is a mixture of an art gallery shopping mall, five-star hotel, and a restaurant territory. There is even small kindergarten here. 
Now, Muharraq can be surely called a portal to international tourism, because the airport is located exactly here. Dohat Arad Lagoon is near the airport. Many locals spend their holidays here with their families. It is a very pleasant place for walking and jogging. The promenade is 3 kilometers long. And if you get tired of walking, you can sit on a bench and just watch the tides. Muharak at night is peaceful. Despite the constant traffic near the airport, the island itself is quiet and calm. The evening excitement fades away very quickly. Sometimes it's hard to notice the moment when the city falls asleep. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. It was the bold guy. Bye.